I mean, it's supposed to be waterproof, right? All right, so let's back up just a little bit. What have we got here? This is the waterproof 50 liter dry bag from the Iron Motorcycle line of Iron Gia's. If you haven't heard of this company, that's fine, I hadn't either. They're a smaller company that does motorcycle gear and they're just launching a new line of luggage here with waterproof dry bags and they have sent this out to me to test it out and in return, I'm doing this video. So let's check it out and see what this bag is and what it is. So let's do a little walk around to the bag. Uh, you can see they got their logo here, their iron logo, kind of an I and an R. That's, that's just kind of their thing. Uh, that comes with a tag with links to their website you can check out. A lot of the normal stuff you would see on a bag like this, it's got a handle, it's got some extra clips that you can use to strap over the top or to attach additional bags to this if you wanted to stack them. It has a roll top design that you would then clip down and tighten on the side and it comes with four universal mounting straps. So this is where you attach it to your grab bars, some part of the frame on your bike, which we'll do in a little bit. On one side here, they do also have an air valve so that once you pack this down, you can open this up and squeeze the bag down and then tighten it back up so that you can get rid of that extra air so it's not flopping in the wind. Moving around to the back side, they also have a mesh pocket here that you can have for quick access items. And then they have their logo here with a little Velcro patch. Now, a cool thing that they offer is you can get a custom patch to stick on here if you order from their website. If you order from Amazon, you're not gonna get that because they obviously don't have that capability, but you can order a custom patch from their website. And they actually sent one to me and I get a little ghost logo that I can slap on the bag there too. That's a nice little touch that only costs a few extra bucks. When we look to the interior of this bag, I've loaded a couple things in here just to help fill it out. There's nothing fancy about the inside except just an extra pocket to store documents or what have you as well. Now the big selling point for this bag is the fact that it's waterproof that it's gonna keep all of your gear dry. And I had been looking for something in that realm for quite a while, so I'm excited to test this out. And I'm gonna be leaving in a couple days on a trip, SmartCon with some friends, and I'll really be able to test this out, put a lot of miles on this. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of rain, I think, so we'll really see how this holds up. But I also plan on doing a little waterproof test. So let's go see how good that is. So before we really test out its waterproof capability here, I'm gonna put in a few paper towels in here. I'm gonna put one at the bottom of the bag to see if anything soaks through the bottom and then one on top to see if anything comes through the top. So this will be the kind of test to see how this really does. I did also put a few pieces of my gear in here, such as a jacket and pants and gloves, just to really test out the waterproof level and also give the bag a little bit of volume. I'm gonna give it a few tight rolls here. push the air out of it and make sure that's sealed up so no water gets in okay let's do a waterproof test shall we where are my hose at all right here we go i want to test underneath it too see if any water soaks in the bottom so if you're getting rain like this you've planned your trip very poorly maybe just a little bit more Now there is gonna be a little bit of water standing on the bag in these little valleys that are made when it's folded down. So before you get your stuff out, you do wanna make sure you shake it out and get all the water off. Dry off my hands a little bit here. So let's see how it did. The underside here that was rolled up is completely dry. Perfectly dry. Let's check the bottom. This was a paper towel stuck on the bottom. Perfectly dry. So the big claim that this thing has about being waterproof checks out. That's so. As we let this thing dry out in the sun from its water test, which it did pass, uh, let's talk about the price on this. 
You're gonna be looking at around the $60 mark for the 50 liter and about $70 for the 70 liter and then probably around the $50 mark for the smaller 30 liter. Prices can vary a little bit. My assessment of this right now is that it's really more for on the road. Um, I don't know how it would be if you took it off road and if this took a tumble, what its durability would be. Um, I'm not going to test that out, but I am going to test it out on a road trip. So we're gonna have a little bit more to add on to this. These do also come with a one year warranty. If you are interested in one of these, check out the link below. You can go directly to Iron Geo's website where you can order the bag. Also get a custom uh, patch for the Velcro thing here, which is pretty cool. I, I think it's worth a few extra bucks for that. They are also available through Amazon. So there may be some of these at some of the local distribution centers if you want it just a little quicker. So I think price wise, it's a really good price. I am generally a believer of you get what you pay for most of the time. But when you can find a product that is not as expensive and punches a little above its cost, I think that's a good thing. And so far, that's what I'm seeing out of this. It doesn't feel cheap. It is waterproof. We'll see how it holds up when I put some miles on it and it has the stress of being tied down to a bike. Uh, so let's follow up with that once I hit the road. All right, so I'm back from my trip using this 50 liter dry bag from Iron Gia's, the Ride Iron line. And I gotta say, it did its job great. The 50 liters was more than enough to hold everything I needed for a four day trip with plenty of room to spare. The fact that it could roll down, pack down, and you could squeeze the air out, made it really tight and flattened down. Nothing was flapping in the wind. That was a huge plus. And again, the number one feature about this bag is that it's waterproof. I actually got rained on for quite a while coming back. This bag did the job exactly as it needed to. Everything stayed dry, even being exposed to the elements for hours at a time. So the big question is, is would I use this again? That's always the sign of a good product. Would I use this again? Well, I can tell you that after having 400 miles of this on the back of the bike, being secure, waterproof, I would definitely use this again. I did compare this to my friend's dry bag real quickly. His was more geared for uh, maybe off-road and adventure riding. So the material was a little bit thicker. So I don't know that this would necessarily hold up off-road. It may just do fine, but it's not quite as thick. So maybe not quite as durable. But from what I can tell, this is a very durable product. And so again, there's no big frills about it. It's just a simple dry bag. Inside pocket, it's got an outside mesh pocket. Uh, it's kind of weird that it has a waterproof zipper for a mesh pocket, but oh well. Um, also comes with a shoulder strap, so if you just want to haul it over your shoulder. Again, this was the uh, 50 liter. They also offer a 70 liter and a 30 liter. I thought this, you know, middle of the road would look good. It didn't look too big on the back of my bike. Uh, this, this might start to be a little hefty on smaller bikes, naked bikes, sport bikes, things like that. Uh, but I thought this was a great size for me. Uh, but remember, this thing comes in several different flavors, several different colors. Uh, this was the carbon. There's also black, yellow, black and red. Uh, I'll put a few of them up over here. And it comes in 30 liters, 50 liters, and 70 liters. You can get this from Amazon, but you can also order directly from their site. And then you also have the option to get this little add-on of a custom patch. I thought that was a neat touch. Um, so overall, yeah, I think it's just another option out there in the moto space. Give it a consideration, check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop them down below. I can answer those. Um, I also have links for this product down below as well that you can use. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, always good to see another option. There are certainly more robust and more expensive options out there. There are also some cheaper options out there, but I think this is a great option for the price that it is. Um, and I'll definitely be using this again. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and hit that like button and check out some of the other videos here. And I'll see y'all on the next one later on.